So we're going to be back uh, working in the transition zone even more, but we're changing our focus up a little bit. Okay, Porter, once again, I'm going to have you up at that no volley line. Again, your goal there, play the way you would want to be playing when you're in that position. Good shots, some attacks. Okay, Kendall, I'm going to have you come back to our land of opportunity. Um, once again, we're going to be working on, you know, trying to play our best from this position, controlling the ball. But what I really want you focusing on now is letting balls go out. So when you get a good drop, if you see your opponent maybe try to overswing that, that ball is coming up. The trajectory of the ball is coming from low to high. If it's up in this area instead of down here where we're normally digging balls, turn, let it go out. You do need to turn and see it actually go out. Um, because if we don't see the ball go out, can we actually call it out? No. So we actually need to practice turning, dropping our paddle. Our paddle should already be somewhat down because we're in a defensive position. If our paddle is up here, a lot of times that ball is probably going to go out anyhow. So the only points you're going to get is if you actually let a ball go out. I don't even mind if the ball touches inside or in that baseline just a little bit because it's the idea of training your brain to see which balls actually go out when we're in this position. So I'll demonstrate it once. And it's out, okay, perfect. Questions on it? Okay. All right, let's hop in. This one's pretty explanatory, but it can take a long time. Yeah, yeah. And I, and that's I okay. tend to sometimes I do this, so that was a good tip that I need to watch. Yeah, you're yeah. actually going to need to actually turn. Okay. Okay. If you don't see it, you don't get a point. Don't get a call. So we only get points when we let balls actually go out. Okay. Nice, and there's one point right off the bat. Good job. Don't be afraid to come up even a step closer. Okay. Good. Oh, that was out. Oh, it was. <laughs> That's okay. We're here, to, we're here to focus and realize those ones. Good. There's two. And as always, Porter, I want you still playing your best game, so. That means bending your legs, getting involved. There you go. It took you one to realize. That's okay. And this is a little challenging because you have a couple of things you're thinking about. You are thinking about trying to hit a good shot, but you're also looking for the ones to go out because that's the only way you're going to get points. So when we're doing this drill, yeah, I don't necessarily want you purposely hitting them out. At first, for practice, that's a good thing. But if you're actually going to go out and drill with your friends, like he should be hitting the way he would normally hit. And it could take a long time to get those 10 points. But that's OK, right? Because the challenge is there and the focus is there. And that's the point of these drills, is not, not to rush through them, but to actually take your time and, and work out in your brain, what am I seeing when and how do I let balls go out? Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, let's yes. try one more. And that one would have been a good one to turn and see. Like what did you see from right? What did you see from Porter on that shot? Big back swing. A big back swing. Yeah. He stepped back. Yeah. Right. So we're we're trying to process those details. Um, when we're making those decisions. So when we're doing a drill like this, it is okay to stop and talk through it. And give yourself a minute to think, okay, I probably should have let that ball go. What was I seeing that is gonna help me for the next time, okay? One more. Step back. Oh! <laughs> Yes. Did you turn though? Okay. It was still a good leave, but we want to work on next time turning. Nice job.